Hi everyone. So in this lesson, we're going to sketch graphs of this form y equals one over f of x, where f of x is some function that we know. I've titled the I've titled the lesson reciprocal transformations because that's kind of what we're doing. This is a reciprocal because it's one divided by. So we'll do two. We'll do one over a quadratic, a pretty straightforward quadratic, and one over this exponential function again, pretty straightforward. So what happens is, well, I've drawn the quadratic. Let's do this one first. I've drawn the quadratic, and I want you to do that first. Like That won't be given for you. I've just done this here to save time. So we draw the quadratic, and then we need to figure out what is 1 divided by each of these points. So well, let's, let's think of a few of them. Here I have negative 3. So the y-intercept is going to be 1 divided by negative 3, or negative 1, negative 1 over 3. So I'll put that, let's put that here. This is negative 1 over 3. This is 1, negative 4. So um, the, this point will be transformed into, uh, well, 1 is the same, but it's negative 1 over 4 because it's 1 over the y-coordinate. So that would be, let's put it here. This is going to be, this point will be 1, negative 1 over 4, negative a quarter. So this point we know, this point we know. What, now, what happens with what happens with this point? Well, this becomes 1 over 0. Now, when we have 1 over 0 and a graph, certainly when, it's, when it approaches 0, what happens is 1 over this graph, as it approaches 0, will become, it will approach infinity and ultimately become an asymptote. So we're going to have an asymptote at negative 1. So I'm going to draw an asymptote at negative 1, let's say, about here. Similarly, I'm going to have an asymptote at 3. So I'm going to draw my asymptote here at 3. So this is x equals negative 1, and this is x equals 3. Now, I don't need a sign, di I don't need a sign diagram for this because because it's just a reciprocal transformation or just one over the graph or one over this the quadratic whenever this is positive this is going to be positive and whenever this is negative this is going to be negative because think about it if if this is like if y here is 10 1 over 10 is positive if y here is negative 3 1 over negative 3 is negative so wherever this is positive this is going to be positive whenever this is negative this is going to be negative so it's going to be positive from here uh, until negative infinity, if you like. So it's as we approach zero, the y here is getting smaller and smaller and smaller, which means the y, which means the y here is getting bigger and bigger and bigger because we're doing one divided by a really really small number. So it's going to approach infinity. And similarly, as this gets bigger and bigger and bigger, imagine when y imagine y is a hundred here. Well, then 1 over 100 would be really, really small. So what we end up with is something like this. So this is an asymptote, and this is an asymptote. OK, now, again, be careful when you're drawing your asymptotes. It doesn't, it doesn't do something like that, or like even this, like that doesn't look like an asymptote. So be careful. Okay, um, why don't I do this bit? Well, hang on, let's delete that. I'll do this bit as well. Similar thing. As x gets, or as y gets really, really big here, y gets really, really small here, and as it approaches zero, it approaches infinity, which gives us this vertical asymptote. So this is going to go like this, and then down like that. This will be symmetrical to this here. Okay. Fine, that's this bit. Now, in between the asymptotes, remember what I said, if this is negative, this is negative, so it's going to be negative um, between here and here. And as we approach 0, we approach, this graph approaches infinity, but because it's a negative, it approaches negative infinity. So it's actually going to, this is going to be an asymptote, and it's going to come down here, like this. It's then going to go through negative a third, 
it's going to have a maximum here and then it's going to come down like this and the same thing here this is going to be an asymptote and th because it's approaching um because it's approaching zero but negative this is going to approach infinity but negative infinity so we're going to go up here like this over like that max like this and then down like this okay um i just want to show you what that looks like on desmos so here we have our quadratic now by the way i drew this quadratic assuming we know how to do how to find the roots well the, the roots are negative one and three the minimum is one negative four and the y-intercept is negative three well when i draw this here are my asymptotes and this is this thing here. Now note, this doesn't look like, this isn't a parabola or anything. Now I didn't want to, I, wouldn't, I didn't want you to think that this was a parabola, but it's certainly not a parabola. It's a, fu it's a funny looking shape, it looks like this. Another interesting thing to note is that they always meet at one and negative one. So the graph of f of x and one over f of x meet at one and negative one because when when in this graph when y is one well one over one is one so this is also one okay let's do the next one so the next one we have y equals e to the x minus two now when we have e to the x minus two this what is the what is the x intercept well the x intercept is when when uh, y is zero. So we're gonna have e to the x minus two equals zero. I'll just solve that quickly. x equals, well, hang on, I don't, need to, I don't even need to write x equals. I'm just gonna write ln of two. So that's my x-intercept. Okay, similar thing here. We're gonna have a, we're gonna have an asymptote at ln of two. So let's draw that. Let's draw that here. This is x equals ln of 2. It's going to be negative from here to here. So it's going to be negative, but we've an, this asymptote here is y equals, this asymptote has to be y equals negative 2. So if, the, if, we have an, uh, if we have a horizontal asymptote of y equals negative 2, well, in this graph, we're going to have a, horizon, a horizontal asymptote of y equals 1 over negative 2. So 1 over negative 2, let's draw that here across. This is y equals negative 1 over 2. And as, well, this point here, Hang on, this point is negative one, of course. This point is negative one. So it is it is going to cross the, let me move this up a tiny bit. This is why it goes negative a half. It crosses the y-axis at negative one. So this guy's gonna cross the y-axis at one over negative one, which is also negative one. So he's gonna cross the, he is gonna cross the y-axis at negative one. Now, th as this guy gets closer and closer and closer to negative two, this guy gets closer and closer to one over negative two or negative a half. So this, hence we have this asymptote. And as he gets closer and closer to zero, this guy gets closer and closer to infinity because it's like, it's one over a tiny, tiny number and it's negative. So it has to approach uh, negative infinity. So What's going to happen is he's going to come down like this through there and approach infinity like this and then here he has to be positive so here we have here we have one over a very 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 small number so this is where it approaches infinity and as he gets bigger and bigger and bigger he's just going to come down and pro approach the x-axis so the x-axis will become his asymptote. Now, arguably, I should, arguably, I should just continue these lines so it's clear 
that that is the asymptote. So just be careful what the question says. It might say, make sure you indicate all asymptotes. If that's the case, you want to indicate y equals zero. Or even at this side, you could write asymptotes are uh, y equals zero, y equals negative a half, and x equals ln of two, or whatever the case may be. Sometimes it's sometimes it says make sure you show your x, um, like here, make sure you, your axes, intercepts, and any turning points. It might say sometimes it doesn't even say that. So just make sure you check check uh, check what the question says in the exam. And um, finally, I want to show you that I want to show you this graph on. Desmos. So here's our e to the x minus 2 goes through 0, negative 1, and 0 0.693 is ln of 2. And then, just in case you don't believe me, ln of 2, yep. And then 1 over does this thing. So here's our asymptote at negative a half. They meet at negative 1. I have this vertical asymptote right at that point there and again they meet at one okay that's the that's the lesson again as always if it's a calculator paper it's much more straightforward you can just graph it with your calculator and be prepared to solve equations or answer any questions that you're given by graphing them um, by graphing these functions okay see you in the next lesson